Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at 10 different online jobs that you can get in this year. Even if you are still in high school or a college student, now you can do these. Even if you aren't a student, all of the jobs that I'm going to mention can realistically pay $15 or more an hour, just really depending on how experienced you are with these and your attention to detail. But I suggest starting with this course on drop servicing business easy to apply and you will get $1,000 per on the first month. Take a look link in bio so, for most of the jobs that I'm going to mention, I would recommend using a platform I'm like Upwork in. This is not sponsored in any way, but with Upwork you can actually look through jobs that people have already posted who are actively looking for help with their projects. You could also use something like Fiverr, but I tend to find that with Fiverr, it's really built more for people looking for freelancers rather than the other way around. A port goes both ways and there are a ton of different platforms out there. But if that is just the one that I think is easiest to get started with we'll start off. Only paint job on this list that requires the lowest skill level and that would be data entry. So within data entry, this can be a variety of different things. It could be taking someone's PDF document and transferring it to Word. It could be transferring data into an Excel spreadsheet. It could even be writing product listings or transferring products from one online store to another online store. So typically, with data entry, you don't really need experience. Think what you will need to have a high attention to detail especially if you are copying over important, financial numbers or product names, things like that, it usually needs to match exactly what the client is giving you. So it's super important that you are able to actually take data and make sure that it is exactly the same when you are transferring it wherever it needs to go. So, even with data entry jobs, I would try to look on somewhere like Upwork first. First there's also something called Amazon Mechanical Turk that I find that that's really just like a ripoff. You barely make any money off of it, people who are posting on there don't really want to pay for quality work. So going with Upwork, you're going to get a better rate and you are going to be able to charge $15 or more. It's really used at your own ring and you charge what you want the next job. That would be good for pretty much anyone from their early teens to their late 20s would be a social media manager. Now I use the word manager in quotes because there are a lot of courses and just Sammy. Looking things out there where people are like I'll teach you to be a social media manager for only $2,000 a week. Can you make $10,000 a week? Now don't do that but you can make money managing people's social media accounts. And usually this is going to be for an influencer someone who's trying to become an influencer or some sort of brand or e-commerce store. But you're going to even do this for local businesses, like different restaurants, or maybe, you know, like a dentist or chiropractor that wants to post on social media but doesn't necessarily have time to do it themselves. So, what is social media manager? does is maybe making the post, maybe scheduling the post. If there are multiple people involved in, it may be making their schedules for when things need to be posted and making sure that everyone stays on track, so that the schedule is kept. This could also be deciding which channels are going to focus their attention on like, for example, do they pull in the most business through Facebook or through Instagram? Or maybe they're trying out TikTok or something like that. And so you would really be the one deciding where they're posting what they're posting and how often they're posting and that leads into is Easter job, which is a social media marketing and again huge buzzword. There are a bunch of very questionable courses on social media marketing. But the point is knowing how to market is a very valuable skill and it's something that companies are willing to pay for. So when I'm talking about social media, marketing, mostly what I'm talking about is running ads as well as sending email campaigns, both are huge sources of revenue for companies and so that is what they focus a lot of their time and their budget on. So what you would need to learn for this in how to run Facebook ads and eat me how to run ads on like Instagram or Snapchat. And then it would also be official to learn how to run email campaigns. And there are a bunch of free platforms that you can do that on as well as paid platforms. And once you learn one, the rest are kind of similar. So one of the free ones you can start out with is MailChimp. 
That's what a lot of companies start off with at the very beginning or a lot of small businesses use and it's pretty simple. It's like a drag and drop type program but once you learn how to send effective emails and that is something that people are willing to pay, pay a lot of money for the next job is to be a freelance writer. Now, if you're halfway decent at writing you, for sure, can make more than $15 an hour. It's really hard to find a good writer, and if you are a good writer, please share your skills with the rest of us. This job can be especially good if you have any knowledge in a particular niche. So for example you can be a finance writer. You could write about online businesses or you can rate. About coaching all three of those have picked up a lot in popularity. So those are just the ones that came to the top of my head with copywriting jobs, especially with the post that you see on Upward. A lot of them are going to be for email campaigns LB for landing pages, which is like, that doesn't mean page that you land on when you are going to someone's website and they're trying to sell you a service. So if you've ever seen any of like those coaching landing pages or even landing pages for they hire people to actually write that sales text that is trying to sell you their course for their services or whatever else they're selling. But the same thing goes for that. So you don't necessarily have to have a particular niche. But you can do copywriting specifically for emails or specifically for landing pages for articles or whatever really interests you. The next job is a virtual assistant which if you're not already in like kind of online job world, you may not have heard of this but this basically he is just a general term for someone online that's helping you do whatever tasks you need virtual. Assistants can do a wide variety of things, but a lot of times, it will involve some sort of customer service support. It may have to do with some of the other jobs that I've already mentioned, like scheduling social media posts. If it's for an e-commerce brand, it may be something like keeping them product listings up to date, keeping their sales pages up to date and things like that. It could also be OB light data entry or really anything else that they need help with. For this one, it may be $15 an hour and maybe a little bit lower. It may be a little bit higher. It really just depends on the client and what they need you to do. The next job is to be video editor, which I think is a little bit more fun than some of the others. But even if you don't have a ton of experience editing videos, if you spend a day or two on YouTube looking up tutorials, you can definitely learn enough to get started. And in this is just a really good skill to have. Because so many people are trying to produce video content or add that to the content that they already produce. That there are just a ton, a ton of people who are looking for video editors for their YouTube videos for their Instagram or TikTok videos or even for their online courses. So I just think that's a good skill in general to have but it's even better because you can also get paid for it and the next job kind of down the same path is to do graphic design. So Photoshop and Illustrator are pretty much the industry standards for what professional graphic designers use, but there's also so free online alternatives. Like Canva is one of them that lets you make pretty good looking social media graphics and website graphics different signs and banners and they have templates you can work off of too. So that's not ideal necessarily, but you can definitely get started. With that, the next job that requires a little bit more skill or at least a little bit more time and effort on your part is a web developer or a web designer is. So for this that you don't necessarily have to know like really intense coding or anything. If you learn how to use WordPress, Squarespace, Wix, any of those platforms. You can build websites for people and you can charge them for it and you can probably make well over $15 an hour doing it and this is another job. You may not currently know how to build website, but if you send it her to on YouTube and just googling things you can definitely start out on one of those basic website builders. It's kind of a drag and drop situation and build a pretty decent websites for people that they will pay you more than $15 an hour for and then as you get more familiar with those, you can definitely move into more complicated website builders that people will pay you even more for. So I mean rent a job is to teach English online. This has been around for a while but especially now people are willing to pay. Pay a little bit more to get a good online English tutor. 
It's a one popular program is called FIB Kids or VIPK through them. Basically, what you're doing is you're tutoring international kids if you are basically having basic conversations with them in English and teaching them simple terms and words and phrases. And then as you move into later levels, you'll be having full conversations with them practicing their sentence structure and things like that. And that's something that's pretty. Because it is on your own schedule and you can open up the time slots that you would be willing to teach at. And if that's something that you're interested in, I think there's like a whole English teaching side of YouTube where people have a lot of fun making like different props and stuff for their classes. So definitely go search for that stuff. If teaching English online is something that you're interested in and the last job is a translation which of course, will not be applicable to everyone. But if you were lucky enough to grow up in a bilingual household or you were lucky enough to go to a school that actually put time into teaching you a language, then translation can be something that people are willing to pay. Actually a pretty good amount of money for especially if you are completely fluent in two different languages and you're able to translate things like medical documents or legal documents, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that complex. I know that a lot of people will pay to have their ebooks or their courses translated into other languages. So those are options as well. So hopefully this gave you a few ideas of jobs and you can start looking into. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time.